Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it is another opportunity you have given to us to open the scripture, to know what you have for us. We ask that you take now this feeble lips of clay and make it a microphone in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Let the voice of Jesus Christ of Nazareth be heard and not my voice. I pray for my listening friends. Let your spirit mix them understand. Bless us, O Holy Spirit, we have prayed in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. What we are going to say this hour, Satan hates it. There is therefore the need for you to be attentive or else he will not make you understand. Se se si a Yesu pia, o te wa a uti mi, e hen fo na bako heaven. E den na omo omba ko heaven na oso omo ye. E den na omo omba ko heaven na oso omo jaye ye. That is what I want to share with you this hour. Every Christian who wants to go to heaven, there are five questions that whatever you do, you must subject what you want to do or do to those five questions. O Christo ni bia o pese o ko heaven. Adie bia a o ye. Question ba ku ba ku num o wa e o se o de adie a o ye na e test. Na o hu se be so nyame ani ana se so nyame ani. So I want to share with you the questions before we proceed. Question number 1. What do I believe? What do I practice? For example, me kwa asori, asori be na oko, oko metele, so kwa eziye, nyame si minu ni problem. E de na oko asori na oye, oka tongs, holo baba kata kata, whatever. God says, I have no problem with you for the tongues you speak. Go to the next question. Did Jesus speak in tongues? Yes, you can tongues. Because it is always important and good to follow a role model. If Jesus spoke in tongues, speak in tongues. You are not wrong. But if you find in the Bible that there is no scripture passage that says Jesus spoke in tongues, don't give up. Go to the prophet. Did any of the prophets speak in tongues? A deep only be called tongues or not. If the answer you don't find it there, Go to the apostles. Did any of the apostles speak in tongues? Make sure that whatever you do as a Christian, either Jesus did it, or the prophets, any one of them did it, and God approved it, or any of the apostles did it, and God approved it. So number one, what do I believe? I speak in tongues. Did Jesus speak in tongues? Yes or no, the Bible will prove it. Did any of the prophets speak in tongues? The Bible have to prove it. Apostles, the Bible have to prove it. So where in your answer name free here? Go ahead to the third one. Where in the Bible can I find a Bible test that says what I am doing as a Christian? It's biblical. Bible could test in Ben and Tresa Niame Yano. Niame Mahon Kwanse Menye. If you don't find a Bible test that supports what you are doing, Jai, stop it. It will land you in hell. Number one, what do I believe? What do I practice? I believe in tongue speaking. I speak in an unintelligible language. Did Jesus speak it? No. He didn't speak in unintelligible language. Did the prophet speak that? No. No prophet spoke in unintelligible language. What about apostles? Did any of them speak in unintelligible language? No. Now let me go on to the third one. Where in the Bible can I find a Bible quotation that says, Nianeme can holo baba kata kata, whatever it is. Bible quotation, you better say, Yitumika. And I can guarantee for you, you will not find a Bible quotation that says we should do that. Every language in the Bible. It has a, has a meaning. Paul said, there are so many languages in the world, but none of them is without meaning. 
e de dia ya kanoa se se afa christo fo nyina no a meaning be in the church every baby in free the bible we will not end here we will move on to the next question does what i do which of these two kingdoms does it promote does it promote the kingdom of jesus christ or it promotes the kingdom of the devil se me ka tongue sir e ma yesu ahini ekoso ana ma bon sama ahini ekoso you answer that question. Some boy Jamaya, am I yes or he near Cosso? And now born some I near Cosso. Some no more on son, am I yes or he near Cosso? And now born some I near Cosso. If I listen to profane music, does it promote the kingdom of Jesus Christ or it promotes the kingdom of the devil? Question number five Can what I am doing now? Can it be continued when I get to heaven? Adie biara awo ye bisa ho se. Se se si a Yesu ba ne se ni pe nyina o wi ase ye nko heaven for free. When I get to heaven can I continue to do what I am doing? If your answer is yes, do it. If your answer is no, stop it. I don't come on some gym. So question number 1. What do I believe? What do I practice? Me ma another example. Me kwa sorry, but me champion. Did Jesus do that? No. Did any of the apostles do that? No. What about the prophet? No. Is there a Bible quotation? Question number three. I just said, me ti ma kwa sorry na ma champion. There's no Bible quotation. And penetrate question number four. Does it promote Satan's kingdom, or it promotes the kingdom of God? If the answer says it promotes the kingdom of Jesus, do it. If your answer says it doesn't promote the kingdom of Jesus, but it promotes the kingdom of the devil, then you have to stop it. Yes, sir, you can't be a candidate for heaven over here. Question number five. Can I continue to practice what I'm practicing? If your answer is no, then it means it's not from God. You have to stop doing that. So everyone who wants to go to heaven, and I call them candidates for heaven. You must subject yourself to those five questions. A bebwao. A best shaping your life. Very, very well. Ghana has an election to cover come 7 December. No be bear our betwa bani bino. I also didn't come with my bima a friend of voters register. So, we didn't voter register anymore. We could do polling station. Why? There is no way they will allow you to vote. The same thing applies to heaven. There is a register or a book in heaven. We can call it heaven's register. But the Bible call it the book of life. As it is with Ghana's voters register, if your name is not found in Ghana's voters register on 7th December, you can never vote. In the same way, if your name is not found in the book of life, you can't go to heaven. Revelation chapter 20, verses 12 to 15. At this time, it read, see Let's hear the word of God. And I saw the dead. This is John the Apostle speaking. You can call him John the Revelator. Small and great standing before God. And books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. What happened? And the dead were judged according to their works. John see me who remember your heaven. And if Baby Billy Jan Yamianim, and ye be a woman, ye be a woman, O be our brow bow our bonny affairs near Jersey, by the things which they which were written in the books. The sea gave up the dead who were in it. So on the judgment day, a po, ni pe biara wa fa wa ma wa yi wa ma me to po ana me yam fo ma yi wa ma. Bible say, ni a me be ka sa chere po ama po yi wa ma yi na di aba. So nobody will escape the judgment. And death and Hades delivered up the dead who were in them. And they were judged each one according to his works. O biya yu ma na ni a me be be so. Nwa diye bu aten. Ti wo be tina sa zi so nomon sa. 
betansa asusu bo adwaman betansa asusu sisi nkrofo betansa asusu yaka these are your works god is going to judge you based on your works so those who think that we are going to be judged by grace or the Adam and Eve, and therefore we can fool, we can do anything. God will save us by grace. The Bible is even proven to us that it's not true. We shall be judged each one according to his works. Then death and Hades were cast into the lakes of fire after the judgment. This is the second death. Still Revelation 20, 12 to 15. And anyone, listen to this past, and anyone... Not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. On my own, Ghana voter register, they can't vote. In the same way, if your name is not found in the book in heaven called the book of life, the Bible says you will be cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 21, verses 27, verse 27. On the umbrella of heaven, they are described. So, I'm going to go to the way, but there shall by no means enter anything that defies. Enter where? Enter heaven. A dear be a yefi, a heaven, or causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Heaven's voters register, if you want to call it, no problem. So, you can't enter the city. This is the city, a golden city, a city made of gold. The streets are gold, the buildings are gold, the walls are gold, different kinds of precious minerals in Amedia. If your name is not in the book of life, the Bible says you can't enter this city. So the question is, what can I do to enter? And we'll come to that. But Jesus said something that I want to share with you, very, very important. A sorry crow is not enough. If you go to church, it doesn't mean you'll be automatically saved. No. Because many, many people who go to church will go to hell. Matthew 16, verse, verse 18. Jesus was talking to Peter. And I tell you, you are Peter. And on this rock, Peter is not a rock. I will build my church and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. Church membership doesn't make anybody a candidate for heaven. If it's a very four quarter, sorry. If you know the banser at they go to church. Yes, you are sorry. Bon Samsu are sorry. Yes, we say, I will build my church. I have a church. But being a member of Christ's church, whether it's Pentecost, whether it's SDA, whether it's whatever, it doesn't make you say, oh, heaven. No. So, for what's the Bonsang was, sorry. Yes, Satan has a church. Revelation chapter 2, verse 9 tells us Satan has a church. I know your tribulations and your poverty. But you are rich, and the slander of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are a synagogue of Satan. So, Bonsang so was, sorry. Now, yes, wow, well, sorry. Matthew 16, 18. Yes, I said, I'll build my church. Revelation 2, verse 9. Satan also has a church called Synagogue of Satan. And you have heard that in America there is a church like that. Even here in Ghana, I've heard that there's a church like that. But that is not my point. My point is, if you attend God's church, it doesn't mean that you go to heaven. There are things you have to do. There are things you have to stop to, to you have to stop doing. To be a member of a church does not automatically makes you a candidate for heaven. First of all, in the Bible, there are some who dream themselves for the fact that they go to church. When Jesus comes, He will save them, and that is the cheap grace we are practicing. Or they are doing the budget, or they are doing the budget, or they are doing the budget. So you can go to church and do anything and eat anything and dress anyhow. No. Candidates for heaven are supposed to stop doing certain things and they are supposed to start doing certain things. Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 to 23. Jesus was talking to Christians, not to pagans. Asoro kro enyimkwa. Sao kwa asoro keke. No, it doesn't save anyone. It doesn't save. It can't save. Matthew 7 21 to 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. 
but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. No, be awesome, sir. Radia, radia, bomb, pire, chill, come. No, I have no. Now, the way yet, the amir, a pass on ye. The way yet, a power was run up at ye. And Jesus continued, but many will say to me in that day, at the mood, and if I be brave, I be cast, Lord, Lord, and if one afraid, yes, Lord, Lord, and a Christopher, have we not prophesied in your name? These are the preachers. It took your software way as I'm pankani now in preaching pa. It doesn't save. Because he says, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? Have we not preached in your name? Then there is another group. Cast out demons in your name. Miracle workers. It doesn't save. And then many wonders in your name. Where you are software? Where you are asempaka for? Where you are more do more men yame? Eye yame yaduma. That alone even doesn't save. To kwa asore where you software, it doesn't save. Okwa sorry ya tembekani it doesn't save. Okwa sorry a prophet who yan sent trene that alone doesn't save anyone because Jesus said on that day these people will come and say Lord 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 me can't be. If as a pastor I don't live the Christ like life I will not be saved. And when they say Lord Lord listen to what Jesus will tell them. And then I will declare to them I never knew. You. I never knew. I knew that you attended Pentecost. I knew that you were SDA church member. I knew that you were a Catholic. I knew that you were a member of ICGC, whatever church that you can think of. Yes, you preach. Yes, you taught. Yes, you, 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 you did so many wonderful things. Miracles, signs and wonders. I knew about that, but I don't know you now. Why? Because you did not do the will of my Father. What I told you in the scripture. That don't do this, do that, you did not do. And therefore, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. So, church membership, keke, doesn't save anyone. Luke chapter 6, verse 40 says, Jesus has not one. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do what I tell you? So many people go to church in Ghana. So many people call them Christians all over the world. But yet, our lives are not changing the nations in which we are living. Which means there are so many fake Christians in the system. Because it took only 12 people. Jesus left behind 12 apostles, so to speak. And these 12 people changed the then known world. Today we have billions of people who call themselves Christians. And if since 12 was, were able to change the world, billions of people should have been able to finish this work for Jesus should have come by now. We are over 1 million, 2 million, 3 million. Yet, the world has not changed. It is simply because we are not living by what the Bible teaches. Some preach virtue and practice vice. So Jesus has a warning. For all those who call themselves Christians. Why do you call me Lord, but you don't do what I tell you? So what does the Lord require from us? Psalm 50 verse 5. Gather my saints together to me. Those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Number one, those who go to heaven are called saints. And they make sacrifices. Michele Mubiyo. O bi biyara o beko heaven no. O wo sacrifices biya o sa oye. A di e me bi nye me bi wo wi asya wo ni jim wo. Because you want to go to heaven, you have to stop doing it. It's a sacrifice. E nye me bi wo wi asya. Anka wo ya be mo wo li bi well. But because you want to be called a saint and be made part of the candidates that Jesus is coming to pick them to heaven, you have to let them go. So in Psalm 50 verse 5, the Bible says, gather them together for me. My saints, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Abraham Tebiko is in chain. There's a man who went to Jesus in Matthew 16, verse 24 to 26, and asked Jesus, Master, I, I, 
I want to be saved. And Jesus told him what he needed to do. But before I come to that, Jesus himself spoke to his disciples. Matthew 16, 24 to 26. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone desire to come after me, let him deny himself. In other words, let him make sacrifice. It's like the Ma Psalm 50 verse 5. Gather my saints together for me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Jesus was repeating the same thing in Matthew 16, 24 to 26. That if you want to be a Christian, if you want to be a candidate for heaven, you have to deny yourself. Deny yourself of what? Deny yourself of what? And he says you take up your cross and follow me. For whosoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. I'm talking about those who will make it into the kingdom of God. Candidates for heaven. The six or seven sacrifices they need to make in order for their name to be entered into heaven's voters register, if you please. It is called the book of life. The first thing you need to do, if you want to make it into the kingdom of God, is to allow yourself to be initiated into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I call it physical and spiritual initiation. So, per se, is to buy. Having Ukobia, the number one step or action you need to take is to be initiated into the kingdom of God. How? Sir, to a baby, near EMP4, say, I'm from Parliament. Am I in swear or move in as members of Parliament? They can't function. When we vote for members of parliament and even a president, if they have not been sworn into office, they can never ever operate or function as members of parliament. So they are sworn in. The swearing in is an initiation into parliament. The same thing applies to pre presidents of the nations. Even in the U.S., all over the world. See, to Abania, you president, you could baby. In Ghana, is at an independent square. And the president, the chief justice, people will come, he will hold the office, the staff of office, and then swear allegiance to the Republic of Ghana. The same thing. Unless the new chief is installed, he can't function. If he wants to function, he must be sworn in first. And traditionally, we call it an instrument. The same thing. All no more join the Bonsam Kingdom officially. Cult members, secret society members. When you are the whole of Bonsam Kingdom, I just say you initiate you. So Bonsam initiate you. You can never be official member of his kingdom, so to speak. If the one who join the secret society, they go through initiations. Kings, when they are elected, uh, when they are nominated to be kings. They go through an instrument. President, when they are elected, they go through swearing in ceremony. Members of parliament, the same thing. If they refuse to go through these ceremonies, they cannot be called members of parliament or chief or president or whatever. And you cannot officially join Satan's kingdom when you have not officially been initiated. The same idea is in Christianity. In the Old Testament, so we verse oye nyamini pa. Etwa uchetia. So God made a covenant with Abraham on the eighth day. All your descendants should be circumcised. That was God's kingdom at that time. That was God's people at that time. That was the way God initiated them into his kingdom. Old Testament circumcision. But in the New Testament, it is baptism by immersion. It is the first Step that everyone who wants to go to heaven must take. And yet, I am a woman. Oh, sorry. 
Matthew 7 will apply to you. I said, Daniel, do our cats already, already. Okay, minimum. The first step you need to take is to be baptized in water, not to be sprinkled on. Is this also in the Bible, John chapter 3, verses 1 to 5? You know the story of Nicodemus. A Pharisee. The country is a Minnesota Finna Mencha Naba. And the other three there. Say, I mean, why you can't do it. May I then, may I And Jesus gave him this. John chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Then Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Say, I'm free, I'm initiate you you can't enter the kingdom of God when you suffer one eka nyamea sem neka unless a must you are born of water and the spirit you cannot enter the kingdom of God Mark 16 verses 15 to 16 Jesus when he was about to go onimi ye ye nti okachere suafo ne echi di fonse this practice should go on Mark chapter 16 verses 15 to 16 and he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. But he who does not believe will be condemned. In Acts chapter 2 verse 38, the disciples listened to their Christ. The Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost. Peter saw it and saw Okasa. Preachy, 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 and a canker for. No, Peter, Peter said, So what should we do? And in Acts 2 that this is the answer Peter gave them. And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peter said, It is because in Mark 16, verse 15 to 16, Yesu can say, Yekwa, Yen kane, Yekana mujudi ya, Yen momu wosu, Nchua asubo nchayom, Temo nsore ni yemo mosu, Nye bomo su ya, On konkuro mba bamo so, And as you are aware, In Acts 2, verse 48, The Bible, 41, The Bible says, 3,000 souls that day, Gave themselves, To the Lord Jesus Christ, and were all baptized by immersion and they became members of the kingdom of God. So you don't have an excuse to say the first step you need to take is to take the step of being initiated into the kingdom of God. Old Testament times was through circumcision. In the New Testament time, it is through baptism by immersion. Yem peteso wa asore de, yem fansu yon kwa asore de, ni apete wa also. No, it's not done like that. Jesus showed us how it is done. O konsio mo na John, the Baptist, baptized him in water. Baptism by immersion. Yadu shansio no, meaning you are being buried with Christ. Ni epeja wa oni yesu, sorry. Pastor Fou. Then Jesus abolish it when he died. So yes, we abolish it in chapter two verse thirty-eight. Jesus did not abolish it. I'll come to that, but let me share with you Acts chapter eight verse thirty-six, thirty-eight. The Ethiopian Enoch, or about Jerusalem, about Bethlehem, or Co. Now, as they went down the road. No, I can carry the book of Isaiah on Tiasi. And the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, at that time, spoke to Philip, said, Uncle, no, go shiano. Uncle, join in. Oh, the chariot in him. No, Bisa, Philip, Bisa, and said, Now, open India, I can carry with Tiasi. No, I said, Boom, murder Tiasi. And now, Philip, church, then Isaiah, in concern, and now, Ethiopian, you know, no, a king kind And the Bible says that Philip told him, if you believe with your heart the Lord Jesus Christ, that He died for your sins, Christ raised Him from uh, God raised Him from the dead, you can be saved. 
Then the gentleman said, What should I do? I said, But you didn't have a boy, should you? Now the Bible says, Acts chapter 8, 36, 38. Now, as they went down the road, they came to some water. And the Enoch said, See, here is water. What hinders me from being baptized? Is you only Obia or Nam Desert stood there? A clear say, Name is you or chariot in them. In Sio Kano is on them desert, so my Bible say, Obisa say, Me a den me a down con Philip Catcher is over here in the Abo Sudia. No more now, now, no more cartoons you. Now Philip said, If you believe with your heart, you may. And he answered, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So he commanded the chariot to stand still, and both Philip and the Enoch went down into the water and he baptized him. I cannot answer by Paracas and Mijidia Philip is any of us who write. So, once you are him, Fabra and I mean from Peton. So, sprinkling is not biblical. Say, I didn't pack us or any appetitions you almost any bathroom. Maybe I shall quite fast was a sign. But baptism is done by immersion. The Greek word baptism is a way of the ABC completely no appetite. I feel you. So Philip and the Enoch went down into the water and he baptized him. In the olden days, Acts of the Apostles' time, a bra persecution is sorry, now sorry, a dick kind, now a palm wall, more now a persecuted Christians. They build baptistry, example, I'm a sure of screen. So these are baptistries that have been used over the years to baptize so many kinds of people. The young is enough to cover the person. Why we can't get rivers, we can have baptisteries and baptize in them. Question, how did it come? As you say, as a son. The person in the when the person said, the boss. The day in the school, the person in the school, the person in the school, Edrum Rebi in the early church. Now so for the show dressing. Now they quack with genus you my boss. And they had a meeting and decided since you be in you. The instead of going into the water, I am fine soon in brass or demo. We say you soon need the commodity we need for baptism. And then that is a sign. It has nothing to, to do with a sham for an assassin and Jesus Christ as one assassin. And I saw one at a time. No one show me dressing. Ah, yeah, nice. Now, yeah, fair. No one to me found good dress. You'll be no more. See, I'm going to see the brass or them near the bar. So nice. I was baptized by sprinkling. But when I saw and read this truth, I have to give myself to be baptized in my real feet. John 31 5 say, Yes, to say, unless you are baptized or you are born of water and the spirit. You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Who here in the middle? No, the edition no boy swa. Then the spirit will come, and the spirit of God, as soon as you are baptized, God will automatically give the spirit to you. Obaba ba be It doesn't mean that you are automatically saved. Afe na kum humu ba be weke if you cooperate with Him. Ono ba be tena. Now I done it and son of my appetite, no, no, I didn't show the a Jamai home no be doom domino. So, number one thing you need to do if you want to become a candidate for heaven is allow yourself to be initiated spiritually and physically. Now, what jump from Bonsam Kingdom? Why announce to the whole world through baptism? Say, if you never call any Bonsam, if you hear him, oh, don't want my Yesu, Yabawasu, initiation. Then you go to the second one. You must give up worldly dressings and certain food the Bible forbids Christians not to eat or drink. There should be a difference between you and your former colleagues. Because in your own strength, you can never stop doing those things you used to do. You used to do. So the Spirit of God is now going to work on you to hate what God hates. And for you to love what God loves. And one of the things he's going to help you to do is to give up worldly dressing. And certain food and drinks are. Any kwanza kristo ni wu onom anawudi. 
So for example, first now shout out the final. E nyan bo osu yu epe, yesu e yi ono ne trene ata de eno de asaw. Na wu ata di fino wa tuwa trene. Now, you are a member of the kingdom of God, but you are not saved yet. The Holy Spirit has now been given to you to work on you so that worldly dressing. First, now ye ye ni eme me, which is a mini, to talk to wano uwa wa wa ni echi. Ye ye ni eme ni eme bi, the Spirit is now going to help you to stop doing those things. He said, yes, then they turn the other day and ask, why be a member of his kingdom to remove all clothes of sin? And now he has given you a new cloth of righteousness. So you give up. Why be a new creature? 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new creature. So at first, he used to drink beer. That was the kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of the devil. On only man, yes, Baba be a new creature in Christ. So you put away all things. You are new. Your body is now the temple of someone called the Holy Spirit. I told you, as soon as I saw what you say, you are or you were piano, then you become a temple of the Holy Spirit. If he will move, on about the working with you to wash and clean and sanctify you and make you a saint for heaven. To Paul say, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? At baptism, God gave you the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is now the owner of your body. It's the idea of concluding time or over time. What the Spirit loves, you are coming to love. What He hates, you are coming to hate. Paul says, the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which you have from God. You are not your own. You were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 to 17. Do you not know that you are, do you not know that you are God's temple? And that God's spirit dwells in you. Oh, when we are sitting here, we are home in control. As we said in our previous, our previous uh, presentation. But they say, when you are initiated into the kingdom of God, now the spirit of God dwells in you. Therefore, your body temple is now the temple of the Holy Spirit. Would you say, I mean, that if anyone destroy God's temple, God will destroy him. Now look at Paul. He put something there. For God's temple is holy. Holy. And who is that temple? He says, that temple you are. Remember, the book of Revelation says, nothing unclean, nothing filthy will enter heaven. It's the one who will not be able to this time, it's be clean, it's be sanctified. And if you have time, I want to be found for heaven. That is why God gives us the Holy Spirit, because we cannot do it ourselves. Then the Spirit will start changing us transforming our character and bible says your body only pedriana would it see and you would if you call yourself a christian if you go to church no you are a church goer you are not a christian because your body is a temple of the holy spirit but and the temple no while they are the open you remember when daniel and his three, three friends went to Babylon. They were taken as refugees or captives. And the king commander said, And Fred and number for me and Sabah, a Jew for Christian, so to speak, because we Abrahamic line. They were initiated through circumcision. They are candidate for heaven, or they were candidate for heaven, if you please. Now, then the Ephraim found a question and said, Obey, a and we loved it. Yep, but Nyamese, ye need, we can't eat. We are Christians, we are Jews, we don't eat those things. Nyamia Katia and Zamaya need to them, my insuring vegetables. What he has here, Daniel 1 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart. That he will not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies. With the wine with which he drank. 
Therefore he requested of the chief Enoch that they might not defile themselves. I know how it is enough. The Bible says, for refusing to eat the Nehemiah as candidate for heaven, they were not supposed to eat. 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 Ten times more than anybody in the palace. And the, their body, they saw, say, Omuni Pedriani, and Yankupon, I saw it die. Then Yamia Castro was a Momuni, A, B, C, D, Momunum, D, E, F. So they chose not to eat, even though they were refugees, if you please. And because they stood for God, the Bible says God also honored them faithfully. Candidates for heaven. You give up certain foods, certain drinks, and worldly dressing. You can't call yourself say over for heaven and I'll pay me a call. Then you smoke. No. You go to church and you smoke. Whereas even goats, when they see tobacco, they run away from it. And human being, you are smoking it and you won't go to heaven. Oh no, marijuana. You are dealing with drugs, cocaine, whatever. And you still call yourself a Christian. You won't go there. I am sorry. No. Your body belongs to the Holy Spirit. You can't use it for whatever you please. Because question I be can't ask you. Question five. No. When we go to heaven, you cannot smoke. Therefore, you should stop it here. If you want to be a candidate for heaven. Number one, you must be initiated. Number two, you must give up certain things that God says Christians should not do. One of them is smoking. The other is drinking. Apple. Now, when some names say, the pedriani ya wongkongkong ni pedrianti. And then, and sad vete wa television ni radio so. I don't say nyam sum dia. At the same time, omu omu kwa asoro kwa siyera memenda. Omu yina, omu anenu. Na bonsima mo omu kotesi. Bible say, ya no maya mo. Ti kristo ni ya kwa asoro kwa siyada ba. Se boys boys ya kwa hangi ya. No ma kwa mekse mekse. Question, can you continue to do this when you get to heaven? No. Question, did Jesus do this? No. Question is there a Bible quotation say Uber to me and no No. So you give up drinks that the Bible says we should not drink. You give up meat that the Bible says we shouldn't eat. Proko, for example. It's unclean. Yes, I'm fine moja meti proko namo. Or the moja betri any paboneka. I'm fine meti muamu. So when you tell me that Yes, who you know the Nimoja to be beyond the Timidi be Bia. That is not biblical. You give up certain foods, you give up certain drinks, you give up worldly dressing. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Solomon. Who drank and drank and drank to the standard or say ni vi fre kra ne bon sa and ne Solomon e kana say Obia o no sa sabi 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 Bible yan to se ba mintu sabi Uni nyanza So if alcohol is good for the Holy Spirit temple God would have given us a quotation that says we should drink it All my own ko heaven or those who have made up their mind they don't want to go to heaven I'm gonna answer, but who are you about Jesus? When Jesus appears, open so call every sister, bra. Make sure at the end of your born some mad year, no, you will not practice it. And some of you remember your nonsense. You give up drinks that God doesn't want us to drink. You give up certain kind of food that God doesn't want us to eat. And then you give up worldly dress. Man, Mr. Asam. When I say what you fear, new house, what paint, what furniture, unyankomu. Adi abetia mo what tua kum. Ano ano pa opa ke moni amasa mo kamu go do fear. If you are what painting if fe 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 no, uko do fear ha obide. 
Another color I be fit for more say no ama if you na ye basa. My son be said to you, would you be happy? You've painted your house perhaps white. New house. You are moving in. Get there the next day somebody has added certain paints to it. The whole house. It has changed into a different thing. Would you be happy? There's nothing wrong. But you don't design your hair like this. Your body, if you are a Christian, if you want to be a candidate for heaven, it, it belongs to God and therefore you can't do what you please with it. Look at these hair cards. Graffiti on the hair. No! Candidate for heaven, don't do this. Candidate of heaven, no! wa boti color black. And then in the name of fashion, I had a blue, green, blue, green, indigo. Different colors. Obi ball black. Or say black, African woman, black. And then I put out. Only young such a To change, you change the colors. Obi dying, who painting who different. Yes, Your body belongs to the Holy Spirit. So why do you tattoo? Obi a sorry then a wa o penti hu amano. On sale o se penti mano. You are doing it for him, and you expect him to bless you. You expect him to take you to heaven. Question: When you get to heaven, can you do this? You do heaven. I go to my tattoo. I die bia o ye bia bisa. I want when we get to heaven, can I continue to do that? Did Jesus do that? Did the apostles do that? Did the prophets do that? The Bible forbids tattooing. You know it. But and now, and now, some people, some person will view young man, or person will view now our show. Only the people, some gente, will come to us and say, "Hey, fan, so you are doing it." That time when I watch the footballers, I weep. Because a baba be here, something that everybody is doing to be a sportsman tattoo. But like in our free previous presentation, when we talk about how to protect yourself from evil forces, every tattoo more or less is a demonic symbol. And as we walk to and fro in this world, we meet demons and evil spirits we can't see with our eyes. And when they meet you, they are able to see what you have on you and in you. And when they see they are assembled in you straight away, they consider you as one of them. And they enter you. That is why so many people are possessed and they are not aware. Number one, if you want to be a candidate of heaven, number one, what you need to do is to be initiated through baptism and through the spirit. Number two, you give up worldly dressings, worldly food, worldly drinks. A mere book. A brand take, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sister Anna Redia. Look at the woman. Sister Anna Redia. Look at these things. I don't know where you get it from. I don't know where you get it from. Yes, yes. I don't know where you get it from. You can't make it to heaven with this thing. No. It doesn't work. I spoke about lipstick in our previous presentation where we talk about how to protect yourself from evil forces. And one as Abraham. Can you continue to do this when you get to heaven? No. So why are you doing it? God saw that that is what will suit them to a monococo. We are bibini. And I won't done it. We are not coco. Now I start to have it. You don't know what they used to make. Can you continue to do this? Is that when you go to heaven? And the answer is predictable. You can't continue to do it when we get to heaven. So you have to stop it. Why do you even do it? For what purpose? To look beautiful? To who? God or to men? What is your purpose for doing it? If you want to make it to heaven, you must give up in order to...
to be able to go up. Some of the makeups you are doing these days are pure, 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 not heavenly friendly. And this so a crow and member kukra. In our previous presentation, I mentioned it. Gentlemen, be a no a cult member. What's a cra? I'm a Christian. Now, Kahawa, some of the makeups they make it. Oh, my back up. I see an adjo 12 a.m., 1 a.m. No more coaching up one. No more twatum. Then, my no, I will bring billions of it. No, the Abama can no more ton. And into the memory of our own money, I'm more the young one anymore. A man, more the young one, you are attractive. A young summer. You are a natural Ghanaian African woman. Look natural. There's nothing wrong with it. And then in our weddings, and my pinky were named green, blue, indigo, all colors. A Christopher wedding is now changing. I just don't understand. And we still think that we can go to heaven with this. First Corinthians 10 that one says, So whether you eat, whether you drink, or whatever you do. Do all to the glory of God. So I ask, is this for the glory of God? Is this for the glory of God? Is this for the glory of God? No. Where do we learn the glory of God as Where the glory of the devil? Then you may man your end dress is it. So number one, you are baptized by water, by the spirit. Number two, you give up bodily dressing. You give up certain food, the Bible forbid. You give up certain drink, the Bible forbid. I don't know what I am in the CSO for heaven. Number three. I said there are five or six sacrifices you need to make. You can sacrifice number one. You can number two. Sacrifice number three. You must give up any job that promotes the kingdom of the devil or interferes with your faithfulness to God. If you want to be a candidate for heaven, you have to stop it. If you want to go to heaven, you can't work for Satan and expect God to pay you. It doesn't work. You can never work for the devil and expect God to pay you on the judgment day. No, it doesn't work. The next thing he helps you to do say, you stop it. There is nothing wrong playing football. But I can tell you for a fact. There are never some of our sports, and many footballers go through so many kinds of rituals before they play the football. They are more Christian. Many footballers, many sportsmen are involved in all kinds of secret society in order to excel. And while at the same time, so you will be a quite sorry, Most of the games I played. On Saturday, so how are you going to play? Would you say, Me and I will see a choir? Sorry, a human away a football and a sports crown. I will play no, me and I will see a choir. Over choir, and I will see a choir. So I will not recommend it to you. I am not saying that we are football are going to be quiet. What I am saying is that many sportsmen, if not all of them, are involved in different kinds of rituals and some of them football and some of them engage in their sports and also dance. Assuming you are a Sabbath keeper and the football is to be played on Saturday, what do you do? Would you play or you go to church? So you must give up in order to go up. There is nothing wrong with running a hotel if we're a Christian. But there is a but. How would you know, sir? Papa, you are near by way, and you know. Hotels were men from Crofo, Motu, Kwai, Omuni, Dan, Okrumwa, Umbetime, Nya, Bebiada, Hotels and Guest House. That was what they meant for. But then, Sebe, 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 Ababa, Eh, Jamamo area, Eh, Jamamo, Evocation. Until you are Christian, now running hotel, question is, 
as long as you be able to, the same we say, where you Mr. and Mrs. so they can come. If you can't do that, you must give up to go up. Because some are turning into a Jamamo area. People come there with people's wives, sometimes with people's husbands, sometimes with people they are not married to. And when you establish something like that, you are promoting Satan's kingdom, unknown to you though. But if you're able to find out that this is where you are for, then that will no problem. But what I'm saying is, whatever job or vocation you are in, say a promote to some kingdom. If you want to go to heaven, you have to stop it. Say no one yam sum a boy bra, you have to stop it. And mau kwai ma un sum yami ya, you have to stop it. There is nothing wrong running a drinking bar. But question is if you decide to sell only beverages, only Fanta, beer, malt, people are do sell now be now. Few. To one as I join a crown, you have a worker. Because in there, and say, you have to pa, and your pops, and your alcoholic drinks. And I also was saying, you say, and only you have some alcohol. So you have to give up. There is nothing wrong with politics. But the question is, the nation must be governed. Yes, I understand. I was here in Penny for Mercy or Minus. But question is, if I'm being so normal, fast to be a man paying for. These days, if you're a Christian and want to be a politician, it is extremely, extremely difficult. Because number one, sometimes you have to lie, make promises you can't keep in order to be voted into office. Number two, sometimes you have to destroy your opponent in order to look good so that people will vote for you, and this is unchristian. And I can tell you for a fact, Bonsam has now, Satan has now taken over politics. And there are so many politicians all over the world who are into secret society in order to win power. Because Satan is the source of worldly power. They say, when destroy will be, which is unchristian, when Chan throws them about me, A, B, C, D, whereas you don't know where you are going to get the money from, which is a lie. You are likely to join a secret society in order to be voted for. And for this reason, anyone you have someone called you want to be in heaven. So you give up that job, that profession. There's nothing wrong being a politician. But in our time, it is not like the times of Daniel, when Daniel was, so to speak, a minister or a prime minister, and the times of Joseph when Joseph was a prime minister. No, those days there was clean politics. But now, as a said, if you're a Christian and you want to go into that, you have to think twice. If you don't lie, you destroy somebody's character in order to look good. Or you join a secret society in order to get power. And when you enter, now corruption is what started. And you know God doesn't want that. So number one, want to revise. Number one, you have to be initiated. Both physically through baptism, spiritually through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Number two, you give up worldly stuff, worldly food. And Then number three, you give up any vocation, any profession that conflicts with the worship of God. These are sacrifices you are making for your eternal life. Psalm 50, yet he has said, Yes, to say, gather together for me those who have made a covenant with me through sacrifice. And Jesus himself said, If you want to come after me, then you must deny yourself. But heaven, you make up your mind, I won't do it. I will not do it. Number four, financial sacrifice. Usika, and you have you. So you can't spend your money anyhow. You please. Number one, Obodi na be nyangu pa sorry day. Into usika no ubi biaba be nyangu pa property. 
And then when you want to sponsor any program, you ask yourself, would it promote the kingdom of God or the kingdom of the devil? And see, a Christian, you can't sponsor Miss Ghana. For what? You can't sponsor certain programs that are uh, promoting your main kingdom. For, you can't do that. Because the money that you have, when you are baptized, you are initiated into the kingdom of God. You are in your media. So you can't use it. And that is why you are supposed to return tithe. So God expects you to sponsor his kingdom through tithe and offering. As well as supporting evangelism. The needy, the poor, the widow. So I am not do it. Then you sponsor them, you help them. And no nyame be You don't use your money to sponsor worldly program. No. You can't be a candidate for heaven and still go ahead and support Satan's kingdom. You can't have dual allegiance. When you want to go to heaven, it is just one allegiance to Jesus Christ. That's all. So your financial sacrifice, you sacrifice only. Because 27 verse 30, the tithe is holy. All the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the loss. It is holy to the Lord. So you can't use it for anything that you want. Deuteronomy 8.18 The Bible says, And you shall remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you Power to get wealth or to get money, if you please, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as this, this day. God first. Then God begin to multiply you. He begin to help you. You don't use your money to sponsor worldly things. To support worldly stuff. No. 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 So number one, you are baptized in water. You are baptized with the Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes in and possess your body. Become His temple. He helps you. You give up worldly food. Certain food you are not supposed to eat. Certain, certain dressings you are not supposed to wear. Certain drinks you give up. And and promoting your kingdom, you stop doing it. And you may be and no one you stop doing it. Then it comes to your money. Number four, you make sacrifice about your finances. You support God's kingdom. You pay your tithe and offering. You help the needy, the poor, the widows, the fatherless in the church. Bible say, and yam some pile so yam 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 if you can't go, you sponsor. You are making sacrifices for your own salvation. Number five, marital sacrifices. Candidates for heaven. Our so is affected by that. So for how? I mean, three. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Let Marriage be held in honor among all. And let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the immoral and the adulterous. So I see and say, I see and say, Um to me, and worry, oh, I hear it, oh, cool, now I'm going to be out for a and I'll be out for a chimpana. No. Because the marriage bed is holy. You can't go to heaven with that. You do have your own to me, no, being called Chimprenti as I see. So, if you want to go to heaven, you stop it. No polygamy. You can't marry two. So, you know, I'm more Eve and Hannah. I'm Adam. Or, but Eve and Adam. One man, one woman. No polygamy. Who to me, worry to? Don't give me the excuse that David worry to. Who told you God was happy with David when he married two or three or four? No. To yes, you buy here, no. I see in the beginning God made them male and female. One can say God made them male, female, female. So you are affected by marriage, you make sacrifice in your marriage. How? You marry one person, not two. Who are in Baba Kupe? Who are so to be in Chimpra? And no one no. Again, bear money, bear man worry. Now bonsam. 
ne promote to Sadiano. So Nimsa Sodom and Gomorrah for start here. And I'm able to fool you, Baba Shell. There now are most nations are legislating it. No Shamra. Bema to me, Wara Bema, or Bar to me, Wara Bar. A Bususam first class. No, you can't go to heaven with this. Yes, you can't. It won't happen. Because don't drink with me any more heaven, yes, I do. So you don't have to do it. No. So number one, you can't be a husband or a wife and still have a girlfriend. Number two, you can't marry more than one person. A one man to one woman. One woman to one man. It's not one man to one man. We're adding a meal before, but now very soon, because of some of these practices, Jesus will come and take us away. Again, when it comes to your marriage, you have to also make another sacrifice. Forgive me for some of these pictures, but I just wanted to show you the story of what is going on in the world. I bear my what tell you once, no what boy yet. No. Question number five. Can you continue to beat your wife? Assuming say you have any other area, nyame oho, but my boy here. So but my boy here the abono. When we get to heaven, I can beat your wife, beat your wife. But when we get to heaven, there is no marriage. But assuming there is marriage in God's presence, there is no way I'll beat my boy here. So you stop doing it. And you'll be here now. I bear my own casta here. Oh no, here I am. I don't know where you are now. Now they are going to show them pie back and see us open you. Oh! And I'm so many of you. Matthew 7 will apply to you. Lord, Lord, Jesus will tell you, I don't know you. I knew you were a pastor. I knew you were an elder. I knew, I knew you, were, you, were, you were a member of the choir. But I didn't know that you were a candidate for heaven. You can't beat your wife. You can't more treat your children. If you want to make it to heaven. No fornication, like I said, no cohabitation. And I did have a quick course in big cities. You know, about if you cross in a bank, right? Come on, see, whatever. When you're a baby, now I'm going to have a new walk. I know, no, no, me and someone, you know, what dear. When Jesus appears, you will go to hell, the two of you. No fornication, no cohabitation. When you're in one day, and then, and then. But now, when some of the cases I am normal, the boys, boys, girls, girls, crofobu. So still, these are the same people who speak in tongues on Sunday. No one, the Ghana is not changing. If you say ni anyame pasi ayi, we are not doing it. No bad thing, and now two, three, one year, no one day. Have been registered and said, "Jama mo." When Jesus appear, you will pay for it unless you repent. The sister, so we know what this are. Catcher and a brack or you. So if we knock us out, the young and now, so when you want the idea, I mean, pack and then pack your things out of the house. Because God sees what you are doing cohabitation as fornication. Where am I in your own In marriage, you can't do that. You make love to only your spouse, you can't make love to any other woman or other man. To say about some statement, then I'm going to say, oh, 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 now, if you share other people to go and do stuff for them. But marry someone you love from your heart. Love never fails, according to the Bible. No sex, no divorce. And such sexual immorality and death. To me now, I will be To me now, I This is our now I will be a man who will be a As soon as pastor pronounces you husband and wife is forever. He makes sure when you are marrying, you marry the person you love. Not a person who attracts you. So that those are marital sacrifices you need to make. Matthew chapter 5 verse 32. But I say to you. That whoever divorces his wife for any reason except sexual immorality. Yes you say. Wa ube jaa wo yire ana ukunu biya. Sa omoye jamaya. Causes her to commit adultery. Whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery. 
ti je se be ma na bo adwaman eno kra obetumi de ache no oba na bo adwaman eno kra obetumi de ache no but a condition obetumi ejina so eja ware apart from this condition this owo owo free mu ana adwaman mo free mu a se o yire didi watam o yire no adwaman e ma ukru mu akohoma no nti waja ware a bible say you can make it to heaven ko ya ware ja ya nyamempe the last one, number six. If you want to be a candidate for heaven, number one, you see a more soon, so you won't conquer the moment. Number two, in your neighbor, why you're missing me in your soja, dear. In Tadibu, why you're missing and said, also just, and some why you're missing me and Mosoja. Number three, a dream be a way of promoting one something, or you have to stop it. In it work, I am promoting on something don't pay. I'm going to miss some money. It's so many months on one. You have to stop it. Number four, we see Kaba be in Jamaica. You can't use your money to do anything you like. You support God's kingdom. Number five, you make sure sir, we worry. The one worry ya, one bad man na one or bad be na kuzisa over worry. We worry ya, we yere unkuwa, unkuwa. That's all. Oh mono, unzisi no, onye neje. Then you are preparing yourself. And the final one, you must keep all the Ten Commandments of God. You must keep all, not some, the Ten Commandments of God. The only portion of the Bible, any of the authors of the Bible, so to speak, is Exodus chapter 20. God himself was an insatian and a tree. I brought to you by you soon, Matthew 19. Up heaven, I call up a set or yet candidate for heaven. To be beside you, you said, What must I do to be saved? It is my use to catch it. Matthew 19, 17 to 20. So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? You want to be a candidate of heaven? No one is good but one. That is God. But, listen to Jesus. But, young man, if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. I'm going to the commandments. I'm going to say, 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 He said to him, which ones? Commandments, because the Bible is also. He's referring to the Old Testament. Jesus said, you shall not murder in you. You shall not commit adultery and salary. You shall not steal a mokrono. You shall not bear false witness. In the other the crumo, Anna, your father and your mother. The words are known any. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Commandment men and then you may refer yes you refer it to. Commandment, the ten commandments. Because ten commandments in the all in the we mark chrono in Sawari do in the young woman that's the crumo do we just know any? So Jesus was literally telling the guy, if you want to be a candidate for heaven, go and keep the ten commandments. That's all. Like I was telling you, the only portion of the Bible. When you go pon one kasa, then in Satan chere. And on a branch in the Bible, say yes, in your meba. So on a whole book, on a Sabbath before you go, a day na menya na menya down kwa na yes to say the Amerika patre wa bosu wa sign na be posted ma amose no a year do go and keep all. At the green say yes wa mo enye nyame wo from kame wo enye wo ni biya ni say in the Jewish court a Jew ni biya suru Elohim or some nyame so to speak. And that is why Jesus did not spend his time to talk about the first four. Because the first four talks about God. And then you from Kamo, and you only be a mommy dim qua. Kai Homeda and I and a Konko Nancy and a Jew and that doesn't so qua. Sorry. Jesus did not spend his time on those things because every Jew knew and was practicing those four. But the other six there in Nippon and Nippon Terminal, that is where Jesus focused on. Is ever pardon in Satyan a tray? Odija Trey or Bosso. Said a bear or being cassa in Suafano in Tiaburo. No. In Suafan it is you not said no. A board in Suafakra a trainer that's also. So in James chapter two, may I am a bear. 
verses 10 to 11. Yes, to say, For whoever keeps the whole law, the Ten Commandments, but fails in one point, has become guilty of all. Now, the obedi mranse ni nina snobe tumu ba kono, e ye du. E tu kwa asore me mene da, e da wasi e de kwa asore, the fourth commandment. Now, boy, Jamaya, obey that. God doesn't care about your Sabbath. So, kwa asore kwa siara. And yet, die at the sorry. No matter the tongue you speak, no matter the generous you are, God doesn't care, you will be lost clear. And yet, when I make a James and a two verse 10, for who's gonna keep the whole law but fails in one has become guilty of all. The answer is a mechirum. On a James, or the mechirum, I'm not making a mechirum. It be our argument as a mouth for being a maker. A ten commandments now, I make a yes to me, true. For he who said, Do not commit adultery. Is it part of ten commandments? Yes. A come round to him, Also said, Don't kill. If you don't commit adultery but you kill, you have become a transgressor of the law. Nyamia Semunye. And you're so for being a car. So, boy, Jamai. Now, quite sorry. Nyamis was on our corner. I don't care. Because I'm running you do a chain. Oh, Bubako, oh, Buninina. I tell you that you face me. Revelation 14, verse 12. Oh, Mom, before I have look at how the Bible described them. Here is the patience of the saints. You're from almost saints. The saints in your statue, Billy, see us all them on. I know your saints. I know your statue. Oh, no, Mom, before I have a look at saints. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are those who keep the commandments of God. Saints keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus Christ. As the candidates of heaven, omu ni saints, you know, Bible say, nyamiya sama wakano, omu di yejuma. That is why Jesus said in John 14, 15, sa opa sa waka yevina, ana wo domia. Ye ma kanu pa yejuma. If you love me, keep my commandment. Commandment, ibe, don't have any other God apart from me. Don't worship any grieving image. Don't mention my name in vain or misrepresent me. On Saturday, go to church. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. It's part of it. Anna, your father and your mother. Don't kill. Don't commit adultery. Don't, don't steal. All the ten. James 2 5. James 2 10 say, Say, I'm fine, Juma. We can't be saved. And Jesus has made it clear. In Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Yes, you have one person who is not a bad person. I want to call hell. To use to two or Say, I don't want to talk about hell. But I want to make a term. Enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the way is easy. That leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. Omuni grace, grace, grace for no. Or they are doing a bad thing. Yes, you say, a quiet, a co or say a moon, a quiet, a co hell, no, and so the nipper knows only a brave is a easy. What to my quasore, no watching pra, what to my quasore, no one be, what to my quasore, no one muginis, what to my quasore, no one you prak, what to my quasore, no one they open me or say, I why so many people are on it. For the gate is narrow, he's talking about the other gate, and the way is hard. That leads to life. And those who find it are few. A quiet. A con quadju. A quiet. A dinner. A ya. A sofa dinner. If he said, Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't wear that. A mrani edenam taquan. So if you want to reach. To yes, you say. Nipaki to every few. Te mamusro. I want to go heaven. Hey, you need to get to heaven. I'm better to come home now, Jacob, because I have made up my mind. So I'm going to be. I'm going to be here tomorrow. We are going. The strange thing is that we are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to heaven. We are not going to be able to get to hea
which are in the four corners of the earth. When him say, yes, you buy, you have one thousand years of heaven. Now you go now you buy. And who wants them the revelation? John Hakan. Which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them to battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. To mo mbai ra no mo do no. John say, ye yi tire me ntumi anka. Because ye tire no mo amba ko hebe no. Na ye ba abon sam, e gadan krofo to come and fight for the new Jerusalem. Now say of share do do na ebe fa, mo number is as the sand of the sea so. Me pray and say, you will not join this guy. And now, when some are so full of British churches and your men run some, do know, yes, we are the abbas in him. Or the ceremonial laws, no. Oko Funsi and our bar of attack, the Garian San or Bethy or Ronsa or Babun and Sa say, say, the Oko Levitical Sabbath 23, there are laws, and the Amano, and the years to say, next letter, may mean I may be back. So we are born in a crowd, brown man here in the middle of Kapata, or Kungu, or Kungu, Kumbia. I feel in your own mind at all. Let him be no no more chat, but put it near the apple. And no, na yes, we are the apple. I send him. Then your moral law, na ten commandments. So yes, the moral law, na but send him there. Then it stands to reason. Obi biara, obo kronu biara ko heaven. Obi biara, wangare obo jamai biara ko heaven. Obi biara obo ku obi biara jamai biara jono. Is our demand na ko ba send him. By small light. Bonsam to Bakope, commandment number ten. Bonsam, Nani Bribri, Akwawe, Nani Bribri, Nyame. Nyame, 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 Pa, Nyame, Tumi, Nyame, Konya, Okazo, Betras. Only one commandment. Anna Bonsam breaking in Yanko Bon Tony Friso. Only one third of the angels in heaven. What makes you think is a walk? Onoma, Yadi, a poor Bako Bako, twelve in a bone, a tardy, a janin from a bone. Or to Nyame commandment number ten. He converted the position of God, and God drove him from heaven. What makes you think that, Sister Awo? Bibini, Ghana, Africa, whatever you are listening to me. And now, so, what of a chap on something? O to Nyame runs a dun Bako, because of a single heaven for free. If he drove Satan out, None of us can escape it. My prayer is that we all will be part of this kingdom. I can't wait for this day when Jesus will come and all of us will line up. So dear children, so dear never could work room and will be with the Lord one thousand years in heaven. And then after one thousand years, the Bible says we'll come back and be with the Lord. Don't forget, you can say Ghana, our voters register. So, we didn't more on election day, we could do a mount to Abba. Heaven, so our register, Mount Crawford, Mbako Heaven. Your friend, Sam Woman, the book of life. Ghana election day, any year, voters register. Heaven, eh, the book of life. So, we didn't come on. Revelation 20, verse 12 to 15. You can never be saved. You can never, ever be saved. Omo omo wu, a poor form, a dear dear form. On that day, all of them will come and face the judgment seat of God. My prayer for you is that we we'll give ourselves to Jesus. Revelation chapter three verse five: He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garment. And I'm illustrating here in a super time now. And I will not blot out his name from the book of life. Unye udi nye uramu aye tumichamu. When your name is registered in the book of life, now I'm concerned about who Christ can cancel the name. So the doctrine or the theory of one saved forever saved is not biblical. Yes, to say, so we are faithful there. I'm blotted with him, but when you're faithful, your name could be blotted from the book of life. This is the city, a city that has twelve gates. A city that is pure of God. A city without sicknesses and diseases. A city that there shall by no means enter anything that defies or causes an abomination or a lie. But only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. I want to give you the opportunity to receive Jesus this morning. And then, Ochina Yesu betu me aba. Oba omo obi akoko. Because he doesn't owe anybody. But what that dead or alive, sister bra, the opportunity is there. Right now. 
If you want to receive Jesus Christ into your heart, He is knocking. All that you need to do is to pray with me, dear Jesus. I repent of my sins, my iniquities. I ask you to come into my life. Let your Holy Spirit come and take absolute control of my life. And then make your way to see a pastor to baptize you in water. Repent of your sins. And the Holy Spirit will begin to work and cooperate with you. Because very soon he's going to come. But whether dead or alive, my prayer is that you will not be here. I had the OEM on some. He made this purposely for the devil and the one third of the angels he brought. As our home is here and he's waiting for us. I wish you well. I'm praying for you. The Sarah is asking what it is. On some chance. No one knew through a kumo. No one knew through a trip. Because who tell me na ene he. So I'm saying no cry no makachi on. If you want to go to heaven, you should be aggressive. You should be bold. You should be decisive. Let nothing stand your way. But some day me hon ye de. Heaven, a hon ye bere. May the Lord help you as you make up your mind to follow Jesus, for Him to make you a candidate for heaven. I'm inviting to you to watch our next episode, which we are going to deal purposely on lifestyle empowerment. God bless you. See you next time.